All right, so here's our agenda for today. Um, we're gonna talk about what is or what are Flipgrid shorts, because it is different than Flipgrid. I know a lot of you, and I'm seeing a lot of names in here that I recognize. I know a lot of you are using Flipgrid. It's just another way for us to interact with our kids, but from us to them, not the reverse. I'm gonna show you some examples. We'll go into Flipgrid shorts and I'll show you guys how to create it. And that's when we'll ask questions. All right, so let's get into it. What is or what are Flipgrid shorts? It basically is just a quick way for you to use the Flipgrid camera and it's from your side of things. And so when I say that, we're talking about like screen sharing and showing concepts and recording videos. So I'm curious, I'm gonna take a poll. I wanna know two things. Number one, have you ever screen recorded something for your students? Secondly, and if you have, what programs have you used? If you, if you said no, the very last question, this is my answer for no, that answer is for you. But if you have screens, it's something screen recorded, let me know what you've used. About five more of you left. And by the way, if you're not using Zoom polls, if you have your kids log in, it's really nice because you get re you know exactly who said what. So it, it's a great way for you to interact with your kids. You guys should all have access to it. Looks like there's four of you still, three. Give you guys another second or two and then we'll uh, end the poll. All right, so let's take a look at the results. 21 of you out of a group of 31, a couple of you guys didn't respond, said yes, you have screen recorded. If you haven't and you continue to have problems, <clears throat> excuse me, with students not knowing what to do on whatever you're sending them, you might want to consider using some sort of screen recording, whether it's Screencastify, you can use Zoom to screen record, Loom, which is another great one. You can, if those of you in the lower grades, if you want to use your iPads or even teachers with our iPad screen recording, and there might be something else out there. There's a lot of them. Uh, Screencast of, uh, Screencast-O-Matic is another one. Uh, you can use, if you have a, an Apple computer, you can use QuickTime. There are so many out there. Again, Flipgrid is just one more way. And so let's take a look at what Flipgrid has. So it's a great way for creating those enriching videos for school. And we use work because sometimes we can do, we can record things for our colleagues. And if you've ever emailed me and it's something I can answer in a video, something you can refer to later, that's exactly what I do. I create a video and I send it to you. And it's a great way to share life beyond just your topics. So once you've created a shorts video, there's a lot of ways you can share it. Google Classroom, Parent Square, or you can even download it to your device. But it's a perfect way to screen record for your students, explain directions, steps, or give a lesson overview. If you, if you are ever sick, and I, and I know I'm, it's kind of hard here with, you know, we're, we usually have our colleagues take our class now instead of a sub. But when we do go back and you need a sub and you're just so tired of having to have a sub try to explain your work, record a video. It's a great way to record those and explain the directions, explain your expectations, the steps, and the lesson overview. Sending personal messages to families, friends, or even your colleagues. Um, like I said, Thanksgiving's coming up. Sending your kids or their families, a Thanksgiving message would be a great way to use Flipgrid sh uh, shorts. Lower grades or even upper grades, sharing a story if you have a picture book you wanna share. But what, the, what makes the Flipgrid shorts a little bit different than everything else is you get the Flipgrid camera. You can create and trim and rearrange your video segments, upload videos from your device. There's ways you can actually have whiteboards that you can draw on and I'll show you that. Bring in photos from your camera roll. And you can always use those Flipgrid filters, which are always a lot of fun for the kids to use. So here's one example of a, a teacher using a Flipgrid short. Uh, she's using it for National Avocado Day and she's using pictures to show a concept. 
This is my Flipmoji math puzzle in honor of National Avocado Day today. The first equation says avocado plus avocado equals 18. So I have to think about what number plus itself equals 18. And I know that 9 plus 9 equals 18. So I am going to write a 9 right over the avocado. And I'm also going to do it on the other avocados because now we solved for avocado and it equals 9. So now the second equation is 9 minus the salt, we don't know what that is, equals 6. So now I'm going to think of 9 minus something equals 6. I can switch the number. 9 minus 6 equals 3. So the salt is 3. And I'm going to fill in a 3 over this salt now. Now we have 3 minus the heart equals 2. Again, we don't know what the heart is. 3 minus some number equals 2. So I'm actually going to flip it and do 3 minus the 2, which equals 1. So the heart is a 1. And now at the bottom, I can fill in the 1 here. And now the bottom says 9 plus 1 equals, and I know that that equals 10. All right, and you can hear her clicking her mouse. She's using her mouse to do the drawing, which is always kind of awkward, but the more you practice it, the better you get. Um, here's another one. Oops, this is my Flipmoji math puzzle. There we go. Here's one I made. Um, I did this, uh, I was doing a, um, an edgy protocol for Tumbleweed. And here's an example I used about bringing pictures in. So if you have students that are having problems using some of the apps, like Google Slides, you can create a tutorial on how to bring in those video, those uh, whatever it is you want them to do. In this case, pictures. Hey guys, I'm gonna show you how to use the search the web function in Google Slides. And so to do that, I'm curious, I can do that two ways. I can insert image and then search the web, or I can hit the icon here and search the web. And I'm going to go ahead and put in Dodgers. There we go. And I'll pick Corey Seeger and Justin Turner. And we'll go ahead and insert them. I can resize those so they fit. There we go. And now I've got pictures of the Dodgers on my Google Slides. It's that simple. So again, I just was just showing the concept of bringing pictures into slides. So the whole idea is that it's just another way of being able to support our students with the technology. So on that note, let's go ahead and take a look at uh, Flipgrid Shorts in action. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into Flipgrid. And it's the same login I think I put in my email yesterday that if you don't have an account, definitely sign up today. It's completely free. Um, a little bit of background about Flipgrid for those of you who have never used it. Uh, Flipgrid is a Microsoft company. Uh, they were bought a few years ago. It used to cost money, but when Microsoft bought it, it went under the Bill Gates umbrella and for his foundation and became absolutely free. So if you, if you ever need help with Flipgrid, let one of your tech coaches know. Uh, it's just a great way of having kids uh, share their voice, uh, give a little bit more uh, information to you uh, about what their thinking is. And there's a lot of things that we do with shorts that they can do as well. So up at the top, you see discussion, discovery, activity, mixtapes, shorts. We're going to go into shorts. And you can see here's the couple shorts that um, you, I've made. Uh, I made this one as a beginner. Let me see how this one ended up. I don't remember. And now I'm recording. So you can see right here is my I voted sticker. Hello, everyone. And you can have those float around as you need. So I recorded this when I, I did this uh, PD for Tumbleweed a couple weeks ago, and it was voting day. So I had my sticker available. I took a picture of it and used it as um, just as a floating icon. But it's real simple. Everything in Flipgrid, whenever you want to record, the recording buttons look almost identical. So it looks just like this record a button sign, this big red one. When it pops up, it's going to pop up and it's going to grab whatever 
camera is available. So let me figure out which camera we're gonna use. There we go. So we're using uh, the camera. I've got two cameras going, but we'll use the one right ahead of me. So you can see I'm live. Um, on top of that, you have a couple options. I can upload any video that I want. I can mirror my video. I still have yet to really find a reason to mirror. To me, it doesn't really matter. I know from the other side, you can just see like my King's uh, plaque over there is backwards. So, you know, to me, it doesn't, it doesn't make a difference. This mutes the video so you can just show what you wanna show and then record the screen. I'll show you that here in a little bit. For the effects, we have different filters. So if I wanna put like a rainbow filter on, it gives that rainbow hue. Or if I wanna have a Lego look, so now I'm, I've been Legoized, which is what I've always needed in my life. Sunset, so just, just different ways to do things. And again, it's just to give more effects to your, to your videos. Nine times out of 10, you won't use them. You might use the frames. The frames are kind of fun. Maybe you have breaking news for your students. Maybe you want a sloth hanging from a tree. So remember our whole goal with the kids being in distance learning is to engage them. And they're always gonna look for the next filter you're gonna use or the next frame. So we will use the underwater frame for now. I can add in emojis. So in the video you saw she used the avocado. Um, you can also add in, let's see, we'll use, let's see, let's go over to, we'll go to magic. So, you know, because I'm already under the sea, so maybe I'll, I'll add in Poseidon. So I'll have Poseidon hang out over here. And I just hit the button, there's the other camera. So you can use those emojis. So for those of you in lower grades, if you want to use like a manipulative, you can do that. Um, so you can you can change it to whatever you want to. Um, let's see here. Like I said, just like in my camera, where we go. I can have my Minecraft bow tie on. So now I'm all spiffy for the video. From here, I can go ahead and record. So there's my recording button. It'll do a countdown. Hey guys, so today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Flipgrid Shorts and some of the different ways you can use it. Uh, one of the ways is with math. So under effects, I'm gonna go ahead and bring up this whiteboard. So maybe I'm, if I'm doing something with graphing, I can have a graphing board right here next to me. There you go. Or if I'm gonna show some type of printing. And what's cool is I can change the way I split screen that. So I don't really need to be in the screen at all. It could be whatever we wanna show. If I wanna turn off the frames, I can go ahead and do that for the video and go ahead and say goodbye or at least move Poseidon and I'll get rid of my, there we go, we'll go ahead and get rid of both of those. From here, I would click the draw and now I can draw whatever I need to. So if I'm gonna be working on three plus three and you can hear my mouse in the background you can go ahead and write. Now they do make fancy tablets you can connect to your computer, but it's not necessary. I could totally understand if you're trying to teach, you know, uh, students how to um, do letters. So, you know, if I'm, if I'm trying to show them how to write the letter J, that's not bad, but that's using a mouse. You can get little tablets that come with little, uh, with little pins that you can use to write. Again, I'm still recording by the way. But if I wanna change that board, now we'll go just a straight whiteboard and we'll go ahead and clear off that board and now I can talk about other things. Maybe I'm gonna go over some fractions like one half is equal to, and now I can go over equivalency times two times two and now I've got two over four. The more you do it, the better you're gonna get. When you need to wipe the board off, clear it off. Now you could take a photo. If I, and I, and I literally thought about this right before we started and I didn't have enough time to, to do it. 
if I had a picture of, say, Engage New York or uh, Eureka, I could take a picture of it and then bring that up. And I could just drag it right in here. I'm trying to think if I have any pictures up here uh, that I could bring in. Let me see. I don't think so. Oh, here, I'll bring up our Zoom banner. So you guys saw this when you guys registered. So if this was Eureka, so pretend this icon is Eureka, I could then draw on it and talk about how the Twitter is equal to one, the Facebook is equal to three and whatever that means for our math problem. And I can actually annotate right on top of it. Time to clear, clear it off. If you wanna show a concept at the same time, we can do that as well. So even though I'm still recording, I'm gonna go ahead and go to options and go to record screen. We'll go ahead and start screen recording. I'm gonna, I have dual monitors. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick my screen one, which is my main screen. It'll count down again. So this is video number two. And now I can come over here, I'll use my flip grid and we can talk about everything that I need you guys to do. So I'm gonna show you how to insert something from your drive. Notice it has your picture down here on the bottom. So maybe we're talking about Iron Man's photo. And we can talk about all things Iron Man. So now that's in my, uh, my presentation. When I'm done sharing, I can just come back here, click stop sharing. And I come over here. You can hear it in the background. I'm gonna go ahead and pause that. You can hear in the background, it was already playing. As we move through this video, you can see all the different things that we did. I'm gonna mute this video or try to. And I think it's uh, using something else other than my microphone. And talk about how Twitter. So I'm using everything there. And then once it's time, it gets to the end. And now it's gonna go over to Google Slides and I can show that as well. I'm going to go ahead and go to options and go to record video number two. And there you go. That's what we just recorded. So it brings it in pretty seamlessly. When I'm done, if I need to add more, I can add more from here. If, I, if I'm done from here, now it's going to add like a, act like Flipgrid, the regular one. Click next. I can take a selfie or I can select a frame for my video. We'll go to the one, let's see here, right about... Here's and see if I can have one where I'm looking at you at least. We'll call that one good. We'll call that the half awake selfie. I could also upload a photo. So it doesn't have to be what you see here. Confirm it. It's going to render it just like it would in Flipgrid. And there we go. And here's our video. So now that our video is recorded, let's go ahead and see what we can do with it. Right now it's still, still prepping the video, but there's a couple different ways. I don't think very many of us are using QR codes. If you are, that's awesome. You could actually click on QR code and you would actually have a QR code for it. You could download the video. If you have a class webpage, you could embed the video. We don't have Microsoft Teams, but if we did, we could use there. Or we could use Google Classroom. So either way, I can assign it to Google Classroom right from here. So I'm gonna go ahead and share it with my class. So let me choose a class that I don't care about. Let me go to assessment training. I'm gonna make this material. And we'll call this the Flipgrid. Tutorial. I'm not sure if you guys can see this as a pop-up, so let me change things on how I'm sharing just to make sure. There we go, so you should be able to see it now. So Flipgrid tutorial, this is how to use Flipgrid shorts. So it's just like I would use in uh, for Google Classroom. Teacher PD is my topic. Now that I have that, I can post it. And now it's in Google Classroom for my kids. And if I wanna view that in Google Classroom, 
and click on view. You can see here it's in stream and it's right here under Teacher PD, just posted. So now my students can watch it too. So just a real simple way of doing some screen recording, maybe having a little bit of fun with our students. So that way they can you know, understand some concepts and the other things that we work on uh, in the classroom. There's the screenshot. So that really is Flipgrid Shorts. I told you guys it wasn't a real huge um, program as far as, you know, how to's and really what to do with it and how to use it. 